Hi guys, it's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Before we get into it, I want to thank Amazon for sponsoring this video. With back to school on the horizon, I've been working to transform my study space. I want to change it up to get me excited for the school year, so I did a little makeover with Amazon. It's my go-to source for shopping the best back to school deals across all categories, from traditional school supplies to fashion to home decor to devices and more. I was able to purchase everything I needed with my Amazon teen login. You'll need your parents' help, but you'll be able to link your login into your parents account and credit card but shop from your own private profile so let's do a study space tour here is a picture of what my space looked before and then here is how it looks like now let me show you guys some of the items that are making me really excited to go back to school let's start off with my new chair it's super cozy super comfy and I love the white color and I spend so much time in this area so I'm really glad that I got a better one some accessories I got are a stapler a staple remover phone holder and a tape dispenser and some new scissors Oh, and all of these are rose gold, which is one of my favorite colors. And of course, I had to get some new pens as well. Diving into some home decor that I got, first starting off with a new lamp, and this is so cool because I can actually charge my phone, along with some shelving that I put my books on and this cute little calendar. Down here, I have some baskets for my books, just using them as like storage containers. And to finish it off, I got some mini plants that are super just cute. Like magic. I cannot wait to start editing and studying here. Thanks again to Amazon Teen for being today's sponsor. Make sure to click the link down below in the description box to shop everything you saw here today and more so you can start creating your dream space. All of the items shown will be linked down below. Now let's get into the video. Time for my advice to incoming freshmen. All right, so as you guys know, I'm going to be a sophomore this year, which is very crazy to think about because I do not feel like a sophomore whatsoever. It feels like it was just yesterday I graduated middle school and I was excited to go to high school. But no, I start my sophomore year August 26th. It's right around the corner. Loki sad because summer is going by so quick, but at the same time I'm also very excited and I hope my sophomore year goes really well. But if you guys think about it, I never really got a real freshman year. At the beginning of last year's school year, it was like prime time of the pandemic. So we were in lockdown, I was at home in my room attending Zoom meetings for school. Just a very bittersweet moment because like I said I was very excited to go to high school but at the same time I was also very grateful that we were able to do school in the situation we were in but it wasn't until the last quarter of my freshman year that we actually got to do some stuff because then we had cohorts and we were actually back in school not everyone was there but it was still something we also had like the hybrid schedule and then like we had a few events but I haven't experienced like a full year of high school yet which is kind of weird but I've still gathered some tips and advice for incoming freshmen some of this advice also applies to like any other grade so it's not just for freshmen but without further ado i hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into some advice the first category we're going to be talking about are classes i've gotten a lot of questions like are classes hard in high school you know going from middle school to high school is it a big change and i would say it depends on what you take so at my school we have regular classes but then also honors classes and these honor classes are like the higher up path and you can choose which ones you take so my advice for classes are take ones that you know will challenge you but then at the same time you know that you can handle because getting an A in an easy class is way better than failing an honors class, if that makes sense. Don't put too much in your schedule if you know that you can't handle the workload. I think a lot of students figure out their schedule in freshman year and like see which paths they want to take for each subject, but they kind of get conflicted because they're like, oh, can I handle this class or is it going to take up too much time? So I would say do some research in what classes you're going to be putting yourself in and make sure it doesn't like burn you out throughout the school year and stress you out too much, but also you're interested in and you know you can handle. Next tip is do do not go into classes with the mindset of freshman year doesn't count or colleges don't look at freshman year grades. Don't throw away your freshman year just because it's like your first year of high school and you can take it easy. You only have four years of high school. Once the years go like this, you're like, wow, I wish I didn't slack off. I wish I did good in that class and I wish I tried during freshman year. So before you enter high school, don't slack off. Just try your best at all times and I promise you it won't be too bad. And then my last tip for this is remember that a letter does not define you. This goes for all grades, but school 
school can get so stressful sometimes and I know grades have become so important because like that's what colleges look at and stuff like that but all I can say is as long as you try your best you work hard and put in effort into everything you do you're going to be okay just remember to take breaks for yourself though because it can be so much at times so remember to take care of yourself throughout the school year next we're going to be talking about friends I feel like I could talk about this for a whole different video but I'll keep it pretty short first of all you will not be friends with the same people you entered high school with. Just let that sink in for a second. I know it might seem harsh at first, but for whatever reason, you're going to drift away from your friends. And those reasons could be they're toxic or you guys just have different interests, which is very common. But I've gone through a few different friendships for, you know, those different reasons. But you have to realize that this is the time where everyone's growing up and they're, and they're figuring out what they want to do in life and what they're interested in life. So it's obviously going to lead to drifting friendships. Like I said, this has happened to me a few times before. And honestly, at first, it's like really hard to accept like wow you're not friends with that person anymore or like you guys drifted away but eventually you learn that everything happens for a reason and maybe it's for the best that you're not friends with them anymore i have gone through friendships that we just drift apart because we're not really interested in the same things and then i've also drifted away from people that are very toxic in my life and i've noticed that they bring more stress into my life instead of happiness like there's just more negativity instead of positivity and i'm definitely not about that so to wrap that all up basically you're gonna find different people people in high school and it's okay like you don't have to stick with the same friend group from when you entered high school with along with that the big question that I got about this topic was how do you make friends in high school and honestly there are so many opportunities one of my favorites was the social events of high school so basketball games football games class comps fundraisers just like a bunch of things that the school holds and that you know a lot of students will be going to so during my eighth grade year I would actually go to my high school's like football games and basketball games because I knew a lot of students are already going and like people I knew. So it was kind of just like a time to socialize and hang out with people. And it's funny because a lot of my friends now, those are the places I actually got close with them. So I would say finding places where you can socialize and then also meet new people. Like last year, I met a lot of mutuals, friends of friends. For example, Maddie, she was friends with Kylie and Sierra before I went into high school. So then when I hung out with Maddie at like the basketball or football games, I was also introduced to Kylie and Sierra and now all four of us are close. Meeting people through people is a really good opportunity, but at the same time, do not use people to get friends you know don't use someone to get to their friends and then drop that person like that is toxic <laughs> so try to stay away from that but also be open to meeting new people okay another place where you can get closer to people are joining clubs and teams the advantage to this is that you guys will most likely have very similar interests if you guys join the same club or team for example i joined the dance team since we all really like dance and like have the passion for it we can also like branch off into conversation topics and then just get closer from that so joining a club or a team is really good because because you spend a lot of time with them. You go to practices. For me, we have like competitions and shows. So you're constantly around them and eventually you're just gonna get closer with them. And then honestly, you can meet people in just any way being at school. If you have a new seat partner and if you've never talked to them before, introduce yourself, you know, get to know them and see if they're a person you vibe with. Or if you see someone sitting alone at lunch, go up to them, be like, hey, my name is blah, blah, blah. I don't know, there's so many conversation starters and I think if you just put yourself out there, you can meet so many people during high school. I know it may sound scary meeting new people at first, but as a freshman especially, other people are probably in the same boat as you, you know, like trying to meet new people. So again, just try putting yourself out there and find people who make you happy and people that you want to hang out with. I did want to add though the toxicity of high school people because oh my gosh, you guys will learn that people in high school can be so brutal. They can be toxic and rude and it's just not a fun scene but my biggest tip would be to stay out of drama as much as possible which might be hard because drama is literally inevitable like it's usually going to happen but what I'm saying is don't do stuff to purposely get yourself in a situation so for example if this person and this person are fighting about something don't talk about it don't gossip about it and spread more rumors on it or insert yourself in it some way just let those people deal with it because it's their problem and you can just let it pass however if you are somehow caught up in the middle of drama my biggest advice to you would be be the bigger person. This goes for anything. It doesn't just have to be, you know, freshmen in school getting into fights. Like it could literally be a fight with your sibling or something. Like be the bigger person. Communication is key. So if you're fighting with someone, try to get on the same page as them and talk about it. Like you don't have to hold a grudge or give them the silent treatment as the solution of the problem. Like no one has time to have beef with everyone. So just be kind and try to stay out of drama. And the last category I want to talk about is organization. If you guys know me, you know that I love 
love organizing, I love planning, just all of the above. And high school can get very hectic, especially if you have a lot going on. If you're taking hard classes and then if you have a sport on top of that, like your schedule might be jam-packed. So my advice for organization is to find a system that works for you and that will keep you on top of things. Whether it's a planner that you write everything down, like your school assignments, your tests that are due, and your sports practices, just having a place where you can write down everything so that you don't forget it. This could also be the notes app in your phone, just like typing it real quick or making to-do lists every day. For me, all of these work, you know, having a planner, the notes app on your phone or making to-do lists. Like I use these things all of the time. As long as I write down or type out somewhere all the things that I have to get done, I will most likely not forget it and it will also motivate me to finish them. And speaking about motivation, find some school supplies that will motivate you to get excited for school. I know this is not everyone, but personally, I love stationery and I'm the type of person that will get excited over like some new fun pens or like a colorful notepad. Like I love that stuff. But anyways, you can find school supplies that will get you excited for school and will make you want to write notes or keep you organized. And you can use the link in the description box below to sign up for your Amazon teen login and get some. And those are all the categories that I want to talk about. But now I'm actually going to answer some questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram. Number one, what was your favorite subject and your least favorite subject during your freshman year? Academic wise, like the general education that I had to take, I would say my favorite class was chemistry honors. And I even liked science during my eighth grade year because I took bio honors. But yeah, I really liked chem this year because I had a really good teacher. And then also I just found all of the topics really interesting. And I'm actually taking AP Chem for my sophomore year. But for my least favorite subject, I would actually say math, which is very weird because math used to be my favorite subject like every single school year. But I took geometry honors and not that I hated it or whatever, but it just wasn't my favorite. So I would probably say that was my least favorite. But aside from like my academic courses, I also was in student council and that was a whole class period. And it was probably one of my favorite classes as well because it was just so much fun. I was surrounded by some really fun people and I'm also joining Stuco for next year. So I'm very excited for that. Number two, how long did it take you to get used to the campus and get your way around? I would say by the first like week or two, I was already set. An advantage I had was that I actually took two classes at the high school during my eighth grade year. So I kind of already knew one side of the high school. And then also they gave us an orientation where they toured us around the whole school. So that also definitely helped. Like the high school's big, it's bigger than my middle school, but you can get your way around. So by the first week or two, I was set. Number three, what was your favorite thing about your freshman year? Considering the fact that most of it was in my room at home online, <laughs> let's just talk about the time that I actually went to school. So the last quarter of my freshman year, I would say my favorite part was just like being a part of things, honestly. Like we had a class comp. I had stuff with my high school dance team. Like, like I think my favorite part was just experiencing high school things. So it was very sad when we didn't get much of that, but when we did, it was just so much fun. So that makes me very excited for my sophomore year because supposedly we're gonna get a lot of events. So yeah, my favorite thing about my freshman year was kind of just being a part of things and like being around other students and stuff. Number four, how did you cope with stress? This is a great question and I feel like I'm still trying to figure this out. High school can get so crazy and, and I think a student's mental health can be very highly affected from school, but there are definitely ways that you can deal with it. So I would say making sure you have a good balance in your life. And I recently just had a problem with my mental health, but I did resolve it and this is how I did it. For me, I had to take a break from everything in my life, like stop making plans with people, just not going out and just like staying in my room, having time for myself. So first and foremost, self-care. I think self-care is so important when it comes to your mental health because if you don't take care of yourself, then how do you expect to take care of other things? So after taking care of yourself, also hanging out with the people you love, your friends, family, whoever it is, just people that you care about and people who care about you. I think this helped me a lot because surrounding people that like make me happy definitely brought up my mood and gave me a healthier mindset. And then after that, you can focus on the other parts of your life, like your sports or other priorities. All right, and the last question, number five, are you excited for your sophomore year? I am so excited for my sophomore year. Looking back on my freshman year, how I didn't really get much of it and I didn't really get to experience high school at all. I am looking forward to so many things during my sophomore year. As of right now, starting August 26th, my first day of school, everyone is supposed to go back. You know, the whole school. There's no cohorts, no hybrid schedule. All the students will be there and hopefully it'll go back to normal. I'm pretty sure we're still gonna have to wear masks and stuff, but like even just being at school and knowing that we're going to get all of the events that I'm excited for makes me so happy. So we're going to be having football games and class comps and homecoming. And those are just like the beginning months of school. Like towards the end, that's a lot of events too. But yeah, I'm looking forward to so many things 
and yeah school can be a lot sometimes and that part i'm not really looking forward to but coming from a year of like being at home and not getting to experience high school i think my sophomore year will be really good i'm manifesting it <laughs> and that is everything that i'm going to talk about so i hope you guys enjoyed my advice and hopefully you take something from this video and if not i hope you enjoyed just me talking to you guys and thanks again to amazon for sponsoring this video make sure to click the link down below to sign up for your amazon teen login and start shopping now and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure to like go comment down below subscribe to my channel turn my post notifications and go cough some quality merch i will see y'all back with another video i love you guys so so much stay positive bye